are in your Google Drive, you want to be in drive.google.com and you're going to click on the create button and you're going to create a folder. And I'm going to call this one CI 101. Create. And then what I want to do is I want to right click on the folder. Now if you're using a Mac that's two fingers pressed down at the same time on the trackpad. And if I go down to share, and I go to share, it's going to open up the share window. You'll notice by default that the folder is private. So what I'm going to do is I want to go ahead and hit change and I'm going to make it public on the web or anyone with a link. Now this is where I'm going to put my documents so I probably don't want to make it necessarily public on the web so I'll just go ahead and choose anyone with the link. It's your choice. Just remember anything that you put in that folder will be the same sharing settings. So now anyone with the link can view. Now if I actually take this link up here at the top and I copy it, uh, that link will open up the Google Drive folder. Um, so what I can do is on my blog, say this is my blog post, I'm going to click the pencil to edit. If I just highlight some text, I'm just picking some, actually, I'll go ahead and type here. Oops. Excuse me. All right. Click here to access my Google Drive folder. So I'm going to type some text, and the click here is what I want to have be a hyperlink, so I want to highlight it. And then I'm going to click on the link icon in the toolbar. Click on the link icon. And then this is kind of weird. It Well, it's not really weird, but it defaults to going to another page on the site. So if you're trying to hyperlink to another page on the site, I would just, if I want to hyperlink to calendar, I would just click on calendar. And if I want to hyperlink to digital portfolio, I would just click on it. But I actually want to go to a web address. So you will have to click web address on the side. And that's when I can command V paste my link and then here's something I think is really important I like to have most of my links open in a new window so that when I click on the link it goes to a new tab or a new window instead of leaving the page that I'm on so if you would do that that would be great and then I click OK and then I click Save and this is what I see is when I click on that link it's going to open up a folder of course this folder has nothing in it but if I go back to my Google Drive and if I put some stuff in there, so here's my CI 101, I'll just put a, I'm just dragging some files right in. So once I do that, if I go back to the folder, you notice without having to do anything, then my files are just there. So if I share this folder with somebody, anything I put in the folder is going to be shared with them. Here's something else, because you'll notice if I click on the folder, and then I go create a document, I'm going to create and share. I'm going to click up here at the top where it says Untitled Document, and I'm going to call it Sample Document. Okay. This is my sample document. Whee. Here's kind of just a little fun fact. Excuse me. I'll just move these out of my way. If I can get down to where I can see the, the screen, if I have screenshots on the side, I can actually just drag them or images, I can just drag the pictures right into my document, so that's kind of cool. But you'll notice here, if I look at the blue share button, the blue share button is automatically shared with anybody who has the link. Normally, when you create a new document, it's private, but because the folder is anyone with the link, then any document I put in it is anyone with the link. Now, if I go over back here to the folder, you'll notice that the folder now has the sample document automatically in it. So if you had shared the link to the folder, anything you put in the folder will have the same permissions, which means anyone who has the viewing rights or the link to the folder will also be able to view those documents. So that's a great way to share files.